Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another news update for you. We have a bunch of new McFarlane toys to talk about, newly revealed this week, newly unveiled, the whole shebang. So this should be fun, hopefully a lot of them are interesting to say the least a lot of them came about because of this week's week two of target's summer geek out now uh, it, just to talk to the folks at target for a second here uh so far this has not been one a geek out nor is it should be ever a freak out geek out because a lot of people are doing those things because we don't have any information on this six weeks of Waking up at 6 a.m. on a Friday, people have work, right? That's Pacific time. The East gets it a little bit easier. But uh, maybe a little bit of a heads up, maybe Thursday, Thursday evening, saying, hey, everyone, uh, here's what's going to be available so you don't ruin your morning and then subsequently maybe ruin your weekend because of lack of sleep. Come on, Targets. This ain't fun. This is the usual stuff that we're getting from you. You're making it a chore to get people to get stuff. Just be honest with them. Be up front. And I think everything should be a heck of a lot better. So uh, try and do better. Let's just uh, say that together, right? So the first figure we're going to be talking about today hails from Spawn's Universe, the new McFarlane Toys Spawn line for the modern era. We're going to be getting a repaint of ninja spawn yeah it's like okay that sounds great there's been lots of repaints of ninja spawns over the years this one looks a little jokerized i guess you would say he comes with some weapons galore he comes with a stand it's a paint variant right for the most part and yeah it kind of harkens back to previous spawns kind of sort of manga spawn for those that remember he does come packed with a trading card and what looks like a stand for said trading card so at least that's interesting there is a quote-unquote variant signed version it's a more expensive version if you want to go that route it's signed by todd mcfarlane and it's one of a thousand so if you wanted to go that route you can totally do that it's not for me but you have this version of ninja spawn it looks okay for what it is i'm kind of fading out of the whole spawn i like my old spawn figures i liked when they brought them back i like when they were doing it but so far it's been very humdrum there's great things there's bleh, you know what i mean it's that kind of thing i think the line really needs an actual spawn they had the kickstarter spawn but then there's no spawn for those that want to get into it the throne spawn doesn't really count it's just a guy in a chair and a half a cape right so you really got to figure this out it's a spawn line with no spawn no main character so yeah, the Ninja Spawn, he's just okay, but to be honest with you, it's just really not for me. Now, over on the DC Multiverse end of things, interesting week so far. We know there's a lot of stuff coming. We've been talking about the Blue Beetle, which I'm actually pretty excited about. That looks pretty cool. The movie as well, the action figures. Newly revealed this week is a new two-pack, which features two Supermans. Basically, Superman, the one that... We kind of know, even though he's kind of all over the place. More on that in just a second. And then a redone version of Ultraman, right? They're calling him Superman of negative three or something like that. Whatever it is. This Superman looks like my Uncle Tony got into a Superman suit and was like, Hey, oh, hey, hey you know, I'm, I'm Superman, of course, right? Come on. Right? Don't you buy it? The S is dripping. <laughs> by the way yeah uh it's just not good overall the Ultraman fares a little bit better i like that they gave him a new head portrait i think it makes him look a lot more sinister i like the eyes that's more of a yeah i'm Ultraman kind of deal the underoos with all the blues and stuff it, it's offset unless that's the camera but in all the photos it's kind of the same thing but i've seen that before in hand with mcfarland toys just wait till it's in hand but just something to point out overall for me to be honest with you the set is kind of a dud as far as the figures go not so much the pack-ins the pack-ins are kind of the only thing that's saving this like we have atomica right that would have been cool if she was an actual figure. She's a bit of a slug of a figure, I'm assuming. I don't see any articulation on her. I dig that. 
Then you have a bunch of extra hands, which I totally dig that. So again, that's been something I've been asking for. And I really like the busted Daily Planet rubble base. That's pretty cool. I totally dig that. So the accessories are more of the draw for this two-pack. That's Superman? No. I mean, he's got red boots, no red... It's just all over the place for me. That's a, just a whew. No thanks. So largely, I'm going to say a clearance item on this one for me. Now... Because of this Target Freak Out Geek Out event, we got some new Jokerized figures, and my god. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, no, come on. Does anybody else see this? Does it kind of look like when sheep have human faces, right? That's immediately what I thought about. I was like, that's weird. <laughs> so it's a Jokerized version of the Dark Knight Returns trilogy Batman. And it sure seems like they're going to do a full Bane figure, right? A Jokerized Bane. More on that in just a second. This is too comical for me. This does not work at all. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not trying to overly knock this thing. I'm just telling you my honest thoughts. This is just like, to me, it's like, wow, this is, this is a thing. Okay. There's going to be lots of people that like this. And that's totally all right. You see exactly what it comes with. It's all the same accessories, including a pair of Jokerized legs for Bane. So I would generally assume at some point, unless that would be kind of a funny joke as well, I guess. It just, here's the legs and here's the head with the next figure. But I, yeah, I would assume that they would eventually do the rest of the figures, Two-Face and Scarecrow, Jokerized, to create a Jokerized Bane. They've done it before, Solomon Grundy, he got that weird video game variant. So again, this may be right up your alley, it might not. I'm glad it exists, while also being terrified that it exists. So there you go, that's <laughs> Jokerized Bane. Dark Knight Trilogy Batman, as well as, I guess we're going to call this the Jokerized Joker, right? Even though I think he's like Disney Dapper Joker, right? He went to Disneyland for one of those dapper days. That's just immediately what I thought about. But yeah, he also has parts and pieces for the collective build of Bane. This is not a bad looking Joker if you wanted a variant of the Heath Ledger Joker. You could probably even pop that head off. It kind of have like a weird Arkham Origins kind of sort of Joker, right? With the black coat and whatnot. This is kind of what it reminds me of as well. Here's everything he comes with. He's got the stack of money cash. He's got the whole hands, all the Bane hands. He's got the Bane head and yada yada. So this one kind of fares the best, to be honest with you. This one at least has some form and function to it. And I think a lot more people are going to gravitate towards this one and totally make this uh, a Joker that they can call their own. Even kind of part it out, piece it out and uh, really customize it. Now for me, here's what I'm kind of gravitating towards, right? Of course, Doomsday versus Superman. But I say that knowing full well, that one, we have a lot to talk about, and two, <laughs> I mean, I've read The Death of Superman so many times. I got that collected volume. I remember going to Ralph's. For those of you in California, you know what Ralph's is. Right in the front of the supermarket, they had this big wire basket. There were so many copies of this giant thick issue, right? It was all the collected issues. I remember buying it with my own money. I was like so proud of it. I think it was three to five bucks, something like that. But this Superman, yeah, they cannot catch a break on Supermans, right? That head sculpt, not doing them any favors. I mean, you got Uncle Tony, you got EpiPen, Superman, Shellfish Allergy Superman. <laughs> No, it's not working. With this Superman, this is one of the closers to like a classic Superman, right? If we're being honest, even though it looks like his shoes are filling with blood as we speak. I'm assuming that's supposed to be rubble dirt all over his boots, right? Even though it looks like bloody boots. Go figure, man. He's got painted in damage. He's got little hatch marks all over his costume. He's got the tattered cape minus the yellow S, and that's like the big imagery from the Doomsday Battle of the Death of Superman. You know what I mean? These are things that it means a lot to us collectors out there. Doomsday, on the other hand, like first immediate thoughts, I'm like, cool. And then I go, kind of looks like a rabbit, kind of looks like bunny ears, right? Like Usagi Ujimbo kind of deal, right? <laughs> With the top knot. Doomsday, in all honesty, he's kind of got like this monster homeless thing kind of going on, right? Like little tufts of hair, kind of sort of ponytail, not really a top knot, you know what I mean? Like, I get, I've read this so many times, his hair is wild in every single page, everybody draws it differently. But the bunny ears thing, which is that's all I see now, doesn't work. I totally love that he has an articulated jaw. That's cool. 
Totally love that. More of that, please, especially on a Joker. The hands are cool. The green trunks. Uh, he's got the Blorch hand, right? Everybody remembers the Blorch hand. <laughs> Traumatizing to me as a child. Just look at that poor little yellow canary bird. Blorched. God, that was more disturbing than when Superman died. But overall, let's say this. The green, the trunks, they've got that, right? It's a retool of the Devastator that we've seen before. Everybody kind of drew Doomsday differently. I would prefer this, though, for McFarlane Toys to do. I think that would have been really cool. This is kind of like a C plus, right? Like, you did the work, but it's not exactly what I wanted to see, unfortunately, right? I mean, the, the people want to say, oh, maybe they'll do another one. I don't, I don't want another one. I wanted just a one and done kind of situation. This was... <laughs> It's a lot better these days, right? With everything kind of compiling in around our uh, offices. But here's everything you get. Doomsday, which is a mega figure, so he's a lot taller. So they retooled the Devastator, made him appropriate size. Totally dig that. But then the whole design is kind of like more modern, mixed with that McFarlane flair. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Superman, it is what it is. It just doesn't look good. Plus, he doesn't come with fists. To battle Doomsday. So this whole set is a mishigosh of like, yeah. And you're probably sitting at home going right now, like, does this guy do anything except complain? No. Well, kind of, sort of, sometimes. But, you know, it's one of those things where I look at this, and I know the comics, like the back of my hand, and I go, well, here's what I would have done differently. So not to knock it over and over and over again. I'll tell you right now, I did pre-order it. So as much as you want to say that, the guy's like, oh, well. He pre-ordered it, and he's complaining about it. Well, yes, yeah, what we do, right? <laughs> that's basically what happens. The box is cool. Looks like it's going to be oversized to fit the mega figure, right? So big, huge box. It's all right. I did pre-order it, but at the same time, it's not overly thrilled, right? We'll just say that. So it's kind of a mishigash again of uh, McFarlane toys. The Joker Eye stuff does nothing for me. Not into that ninja spawn. And let's say the Doomsday versus Superman is just kind of there, right? The whole Superman versus Superman thing, that's <laughs> clear, it's, if anything. I do need Totomica, so we'll say that. But as always, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse and Spawn's Universe. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if I don't talk with you, have a fantastic weekend. Go do something awesome. Get away from the toys. Get away from the office. Go hang out with your families, friends. Live it up. Leave this stuff in Friday, right? And don't geek out or freak out for anything Target's got going on. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.